So you want to buy a house in the future to live in or to use as a tool to grow your wealth and you don't know where to start. Well, unless you have $300,000 in cash just lying around somewhere, which I know most of you guys have, of course, because who doesn't? However, if you are one of the select few that doesn't have this, this video it will be perfect for you because the most important thing you need to buy a house is a good credit score. And in this video, I will show you how you can build your credit as a beginner from what credit is to what the best credit cards would be for you. So if you have bad credit or no credit, you will learn a lot from this video. However, even if you have experience with credit, this video will still be very beneficial for you. Hi, my name is Stephen Bessie. I'm your local real estate agent here in Omaha, Nebraska with Berkshire Hathaway Home Services. And if you or someone you know is looking to buy, sell, or maybe you're just curious about the value of your home is, please feel free to give me a call, shoot me a text, or send me an email at any time. All my contact information will be at the top of the description down below. And with all that being said, let's get into the number one thing that you need to buy a house. Let's start off by talking about why credit is so important. First up, cash back. Who doesn't love a discount? With a credit card, you can earn cash back on your purchases. Imagine this, you spend $100 on groceries and you get 2% cash back. That's $2 right back in your pocket. Sure. $2 might not sound like a lot, but when you do that 100 times, that $2 becomes $200 that you've just saved. Now let's talk about something you might not have expected, reimbursement for lost or stolen items. Did you know that many credit cards provide purchase protection? If you buy something and it's lost, stolen, or damaged within a certain time frame, your credit card company might reimburse you. And last but not least, safety. Credit cards offer a layer of protection when you make purchases. If there are any unauthorized charges or fraudulent activities, you are not on the hook for the money. It's like having a security guard for your wallet. Because when you're using a debit card, they're stealing your money. But when you're using a credit card, they're stealing the bank's money. Let's talk about tips for success when using a credit card because although it is a great tool to create large amounts of wealth, it is also a tool that can financially ruin your life. But it's not that hard as long as you follow these five steps. Starting off with number one, don't spend more money than you have. This might sound like a no brainer to most, but this has financially ruined many people. The second tip is pay on time. Late payments, even by a few days, can lead to late fees and negatively affect your credit report. A single 30 day late payment may cause a score to drop 100 points. So please just pay on time. The third tip is to pay in full each month. By doing this, it will leave you with a no late fees and it will keep your credit score in tip top shape. Tip number four, don't max out your account. When you're maxing out your account, you are showing the lenders that you are a more risky person to lend money to because you need all the money that they will give you. With that being said, if you want to grow your credit as fast as possible, don't use more than 30% of your credit limit. The fifth tip is get the rewards that fit your lifestyle. Every card gives you different cash back or points on different things, such as one card might give you 3% cash back here in grocery stores, while another one might give you 3% cash back over here in gas. So find out what you spend the most money on and find a card that best fits those rewards. Now let's get on to the fun stuff. The top five beginner credit cards, starting off with number one, we have the Discover It Student Cash Back. This card is only for students. However, if you are a student, there is no better credit card to get. When signing up for this card, if you use the referral code down in the description, you will get $100 as a sign up bonus after your first purchase. This card offers 5% cash back on everyday purchases at different places each quarter, like Amazon, grocery stores, and many more. It also offers 1% cash back on all other purchases automatically. It also has an unlimited cashback match that gives you a dollar for dollar match on all the cashback that you have personally earned at the end of your first year. 
And lastly, you can redeem your rewards for cash at any time. Now moving on to the second card is the Discover It Secured card. Just like the other one, if you use the referral code in the description, you will get $50 sign up bonus after your first purchase, but make sure to use the secured card referral code with this one because if you try to use the student code, it won't work. So just make sure to get the right one. This card allows you to earn 2% cash back on gas stations and restaurants and up to $1,000 in combined purchases each quarter. Like this student card, it also offers 1% unlimited cash back on all purchases and you get an unlimited dollar for dollar match of all the cash back you've earned at the end of your first year. Next, we have our third card, which is the Pedal 2. The Pedal 2 looks beyond your credit score by instead looking at your banking history. Your cash score shows your credit worthiness and can help you qualify for more credit at better rates. The Pedal 2 card is designed with absolutely no fees, no annual fees, no international fees, there's no late fees, and there's no return payment fees. It gives you a 1% to 1.5% cash back on everyday purchases and a 2% to 10% cash back on select local and national shops. Now moving on to our fourth card, we have the Blue Cash Everyday card from American Express. Unlike the other ones, this card currently as when this video is posted, has a $200 sign-on bonus when you spend $2,000 within the first six months. This card gives you 3% cash back on groceries, online retail purchases, and gas, up to $6,000 per year, then moves down to 1%. It also gives you discounts on different things such as an $84 Disney bundle credit, and a $180 home chef credit. Lastly, we have our fifth card, which is really two cards, and they are the Chase Freedom Unlimited and the Chase Freedom Flex. These are both amazing cards. However, the Chase is known for not wanting to work with new people. So you might wanna start a checking account with them if you do not get approved. Both of these cards offer a $200 signing bonus when you spend $500 within the first three months, which is definitely doable. They both have no annual fees and they have a 3% foreign transaction fee and a 0% intro APR for the first 15 months from the account opening. Now moving on to the rewards is where these two differ from each other, starting off with the Chase Freedom Unlimited, you get 5% on travel when you purchase through Chase Ultimate Rewards, 3% on dining at restaurants including takeout and eligible delivery services, 3% on drugstore purchases, and lastly, 1.5% on all other purchases. Now let's take a look at what the Chase Freedom Flex gives you. Starting off, you can earn 5% cash back up to $1,500 in combined purchases in bonus categories each quarter, kind of like the Discover It student card. You get 5% cash back on travel purchases through the Chase Ultimate Rewards, 3% cash back on dining at restaurants including takeout and eligible delivery services. You earn 3% cash back on drugstore purchases, and lastly, you earn 1% cash back on all other purchases. The main difference between these two is with the Chase Freedom Flex, you get 5% cash back on revolving categories, 1% cash back on other purchases, while the Chase Freedom Unlimited, you get one and a half percent cash back on all other purchases. So if you're looking to buy a house or just get a loan for anything such as a car, make sure to have good credit. And I promise you that if you follow the five tips for success, they will make it so there is no chance for failure. If you like this video and you want to invest your money you can sign up for Webull using the link in the description to get five to 15 free stocks valued anywhere between three to $3,000 when you make your first deposit of any amount. If you learned anything from this video or you just liked watching it, please leave a like, subscribe, comment down below, 
if you like the more financial side of real estate so I know to make more of these videos in the future.